Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. And welcome to part 8 of my Loop Hero playthrough. I've been trying to figure out where I think I need to go from here. And I had an idea that I wanted to try. I need some upgrades. And what I've been thinking about is... I wonder what... I, I seem to be missing certain resources. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on all of the items except maybe for decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tile effects of lanterns can stack all right so I'm gonna remove that I wonder why that's blinking does it do I have too many cards so am I supposed to have between oh well, that kind of thwarted my diabolical plan. I'm guessing I can have between 7 and ten, seven and 12 cards. So I've got 16. So I've got to get rid of some. So let's get rid of the Grove and the Blood Grove. And the Beacon or the Temporary Beacon can t spawn Time Watchers. All right, so I want me a Time Watcher, I'm pretty sure. That sounds promising. And Chrono Crystals doubles the effect of a day's passing. Let's not have Chrono Crystals. All right, so this gives us a bunch of stuff to play with. We got wheat fields, village, and all kinds of stuff. And let's try the warrior, and we'll try chapter one again. Now, hopefully, this farming expedition will allow us to pick up some interesting loots, and also, hopefully, We'll be able to maybe find some of the missing resources we're not finding. So, Vampire Mansion. Eh, where should I throw out a Vampire Mansion? Let's see. So, I got a wheat fields, a Vampire Mansion, and a mountain. Well, the mountain's kind of the obvious thing. Eh, equip a ring. It doesn't really matter what it does. So, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is. I'll put a vampire mansion here, and I'll go like village, village, wheat fields, wheat fields maybe? So the vampire mansion goes here, and I'll be able to put a village here, and a village here, and a wheat fields, and a wheat fields, and see what happens. As soon as I get like some villages and that kind of thing. So I guess the plan is I'll let this run for a little bit and see what kind of, what kind of tiles we can, what kind of tiles and resources we can come up with. Well, that was super unfortunate. So, I think I'm going to take my loot and see if I can build something. Alright. 
So I'm gonna retreat and see what all I can build. That was super unfortunate. I can build a smelter. Unlocks the storm temple, unlocks the arsenal golden card if intel center is built. Can't build the intel center. Can build a mud hut. Uh, let's build a smelter. All right, so smelting helps oh, something happen. Can I build anything else? No. So I get the storm temple though. Storm temple strikes two random tile effects multiple tile and stack. Huh. Okay. Well, not really my most auspicious outing, but hmm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna stop this video at this point, and then we'll see about another trip through maybe with some groves and blood groves see if we can maybe stack the blood the groves and the blood groves and then ruins maybe maybe ruins because the worms seem to escape sometimes and the blood groves should eat the ruins eh, we'll try that anyway if you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions or if you see anything that I'm doing wrong please let me know in the comments and I hope you all have an excellent day